do what you love. You know, people are gonna say, oh, go into real estate because of all the money. And yes, obviously you wanna make money, but if you don't love doing it, you're not gonna want to do it and you're not gonna make money doing it. How are you doing today? Welcome to the party. I'm doing good, I'm doing good. How about you? How I'm you? fantastic, fantastic. So tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got involved with Michael Blanc. So, uh, a bit about me, I'm 16 years old. I'm a sophomore in high school. 16, 16. Did you hear that? 16. Yes. Apparently, I've been called the youngest capital raiser ever. Oh. I don't know if that's true. Uh, I've raised about 500 through Massive in my first year. It's been amazing, I love the experience. Uh, I got involved through Michael Blanc with my dad at Massive Capital right here. I haven't been able to go inside yet. I've been manning the booth over there talking to people, but I've heard it's amazing. What have you learned so far and what are you hoping to take away from this event? I've learned that relationship is everything. The people you know is the only way you will succeed. What I want to take away, more contacts, meet more people. I love yeah. it. Megana, you had a couple questions for him, right? Thank I you, thank you, thank you. Exactly. So 50, that, 50 minutes in the morning. We are going to have another separate interview about hair care. <laughs> but this, this is real estate for anyone who's wondering. I absolutely love the relationship, father, son. And it's an amazing message to, to the world. Now, outside of real estate, what do you do for fun? Ooh. So before because you're 16, yeah, still, yeah, yeah, we hope that you act like 16 year old outside of this environment because here you're super professional. And we're very proud of you. So it's tricky because with real estate, real estate's kind of become my life, oh, you know? Oh. So before real estate, I played sports, I had I went to parties, that kind of stuff. After I became involved in real estate, it became everything I wanted to do and everything I did do. You, have, you kind of have to fully devote yourself to it if you want to succeed. For fun, I still play video games, say that. Oh, okay. And um, have you read any of Michael Blanc's books? Not Michael Blanc's, but other books, yeah. Right now, so right now, not investor related, but right now I'm reading a lot of uh, Socrates, Aristotle, those kind of books. Interesting choice. Yeah. You're only 16. Why Why go that I philosophical? Mean. So, <laughs> because Aristotle was the greatest salesman ever. He was, he built rhetoric. He is what we've based everything in sales on, right? I love it. We, we have a few more minutes. So, Brooke, do you want to ask him some more questions? This has been amazing. So what do you say to the young people out there? My daughter, Michaela, is 15. There are 16-year-olds, 17-year-olds, a lot of young people watching. What are some words of wisdoms and recommendations for them to get started on this for their future wealth? Do what you love. You know, People are going to say, oh, go into real estate because of all the money. And yes, obviously you want to make money. But if you don't love doing it, you're not going to want to do it and you're not going to make money doing it. You could always go with Arnold Schwarzenegger. He did real estate when he was doing his acting career. That gave him the ability to pick and choose the roles he wanted, which is how he eventually ended up doing Terminator because he didn't pick, he, didn't, he wasn't striving to get every single role that was given to him. He had the opportunity to pick and choose. I love it and so much wisdom. And again, you are absolutely an inspiration for, thank for you, thank you. Uh, the boys and the girls that are still confused and they are not sure what they want to do next, if they want to pursue a career or the right major once they go to college. Have you thought about college, Kyle? So th that's a tricky question. So <laughs> I'm, I'm very 50-50 on it. For a long time, I wanted to become a chemical engineer, but that's before I found real estate. And right now I'm thinking, do I even want to go to college? Is, is it a possibility that I don't have to go? If I grow this enough that I have the ability to not go to college, that'd be amazing. But Schreier says that I need the basis. I need something that if all else fails, I know I can rely on this. I, I love it. I am extremely inspired by your drive and I cannot wait to see your growth. I, me either. And uh, I feel like, what, in five years, Brooke, do you have a prediction where Kyle will be in five years, knowing what we know about this young man? He's going to be the next Michael Blanc, hopefully. I love it. So Absolutely. And then, so I want to say, <laughs> do you have a question? You know okay. Better than Michael Blanc. <laughs> You're putting that out in the universe. I'm gonna tag you on it, bro. And Michael Blanc would Thank love that answer so much. Oh yeah, he will. You hear that, Michael? All of this, so we can take it to the next level. So he's creating the next better versions yes, of all of our yes, mentors. So. Yes. Yes. But it started with him, so I'm super we, excited. Thank we you appreciate so your much. time, Kyle. Thank you, Thank you so much. This is amazing. I appreciate you. Appreciate you.